Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer as a Lifestyle. So today I'm going to give you an update on all my projects. As you can see, we're going to start off with the Mandela. And the Mandela is getting huge, you guys. It is just huge. <laughs> I believe this is part 10. And I think it goes to a lot. This is a huge blanket. Now, the first one that I made for my mom, I, I think I kind of stopped. Um... I don't think I did uh, maybe a, a, another one or two more parts, but I don't. I never really completed the entire Mandela because it was just getting too much and it took me too long and and I just so I didn't. I never finished it. So last time we came on a week ago, I was at. I think I started. I was on part eight, which was like fifty. Um, roll 52 or something like that so as you can see a lot has happened since then it's starting to curl a little bit because but she says that's normal uh there is so much going on you guys i i don't think that you can fully appreciate the blanket till you look at it up close there is so much uh, and then of course there's my casey i already no you can't be in it i've already we did this video a few times because i've been trying to keep him off the video so People can see the actual blanket and not you, Casey. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But I have to tell you, it is getting really full. And again, I am not, there is no color combination. I'm just pulling out whatever yarn. I'm not sure how this pink is going to work out. I'm going to add more color to it and it will probably be better. I'm not too keen on it. But anyway, this part, after I, I filmed you guys, you know, last time, where I was at part, uh, I think, eight, and it was like row 52 or something like that, I struggled. I struggled so much. So I think it was this part right here. I just struggled so much with that part. I just, I mean, I was just going, I was rewinding the video and over and over again and pulling the, you know, I was just struggling like crazy. And I thought to myself, you know, thank goodness that there are two tutorials and that's what I'm following. It's in a nutshell, her two tutorial on this, because if I had to like read the pattern, I think I would go nuts. I would go nuts. So here it is thus far. Oh, Savannah's here now too. Guys, I'm really sorry, but I just want to get this video out. Stop it, you two. And, uh, and I know I said that I was going to main, only work on this uh, blanket, but that's not the truth. I was I thought I told you guys last that I was going to devote a lot of time to it, and I was only going to focus on this blanket. But look at here, I did make two mats. Also, I had an issue. All my plarn, all these boxes you guys are seeing, this is all my plarn. I had to end up here. It is. Do you see what's going on in the corner there with all that torn plastic? Well, I had to box up all the plarn. I cut it in the strips. I compressed it with weights and all because there's a lot in there, you guys. There's like thousands and thousands of strips. And I already used up one small box. And um, because these culprits were cutting up, look what they're trying to do. They're trying to get into the bag. They're trying to get into the boxes to these things so I had to get uh, put all this away cut up all the plastic bags and you know put them in the strips and put them pack them up because these you know you see how they run I'm trying to show my Mandela and they're all over the blanket but yeah that's my Mandela right now I wish I could work on it more I am really not liking that pink but I'm hoping that as I add more colors it will become uh, better looking I don't know now I'm doubting myself because I really had the, this whole week when I was working on the Mandela, I was really struggling in parts of it. There were some parts that was just really, really struggling. So, whoops, excuse me, guys. I am going to see if I can get these guys off and on to the next item. Come on, you guys. Get off. Come on. Got to go. Come on. Got to go. Got to go. You got to participate. Don't make um, grandma look bad. Come on. They're not going anywhere. So anyway, the next thing that I was working on, if you can barely see it because these two are not participating, come on, thank you, 
is my 100 day project um and that's my mile minute blankets that i am working on right and so here's my progress i i made enough strips um where i'm putting it together and i'm using this charcoal i have no label on it no tag I, these are my strips that I put together in the order that I wanted to use them um, for my blanket. And I'm uh, com connecting them together with that gray. And then I'm going to go do a border around it with the gray as well. This is some of it. Um, if you want to see my daily progress on the mile a minute uh, strips that for the 100 day project that I'm working on, I am posting them on my Facebook um, on the crocheting ministries Facebook page every day so you can see the progress on them I would be honest with you guys I have messed up this blanket I have messed it up I am so upset with myself this is uh from day 14 this is as far as I got and that's yesterday's and I put them to and I worked on it at night and I got this much done. I was really happy with how much I was working. I, I got done. And then I looked and I made a really bad mistake, you guys. I'm going to show it to you, but I'm going to fix it when I do the border. Uh, what I ended up doing is, oh, I'm so mad at myself because I, I don't even want to show you the whole mistake. But the Maoman is supposed to look like that, right? You're not, you're supposed to connect them at a certain point. And this is when I realized that I was connecting them at the wrong spot. And I was connecting them, you see, so my points are kind of missing on the other one. I'm not even, I don't even want to show you because it's just, I'm just so upset with myself for making that mistake. So when I do the border, I am going to give it more of an arch and kind of fix that problem. Yeah, so I learned a lesson. I learned a lesson. I messed it up. I'm so upset with myself. So let's go on to the next thing, my next blanket, my next project. And I am happy to say, oh, here, let me move this over because there's too much going on here, all this color. So if you guys remember, I was one of my 12 cast-ons, you know, um, I won, I had, I took all my cotton, my scrubbies and and everything into my bag and I said I am definitely going to be working on my washcloths all my cotton and everything so I filled up my be a bag with all of the you know that I had and I'm, I'm going to be working on that so I can get that done and finally for my family I've been splitting it up for my between my son and my daughter right now I have finished that bag I don't have any more that I visibly see I think I probably might have some more in some tote somewhere. So when I acro come across more of the cotton, and I know I do have more somewhere, then I'm going to get those done also. But for now, I did end up taking a scrubby and just made a washcloth of it. I, I thought, you know, I know that, that you normally make the scouring pads and all, but, you know, I thought, why not? My son is really loving. Look how pretty that is. And they're all different brands, and I think this is the Hobby Lobby one. I, I find that I really prefer Hobby Lobbies. Then I like to make my scouring pads, which I've told you guys before. Look, I haven't even done my ends, uh, where I just do a rectangle and I fold it over. Makes it a nice, um, thick pad. They love them. My kids love these, and, you know. And then, of course, my Swifter, you know. So yeah, my son used his already. He said he used it on the uh, and it worked fine, you know. So here's another one. So I am um, that's about all I got. So I'm done with all of that, but I think I I have a I might have more, but it's just in my totes somewhere and I you know not visible to my eye right now. So I'm not sure if I showed you this blanket last time, but I did. It is finished. It's been washed. I am all entangled. There's so much stuff on here. And I did finish this. I believe those are Edna's four um, granny squares that she made me. That These are the last of them. I, I am all done with the granny squares. And I made them into it. So this one, I like the way it came out. Again, with scraps. That's all I've been working on. And uh, that's going to go in the charity. Uh, and in fact, I am going to be making a donation with everything that I have thus far, I think I am going to go along with my mats. I'm going to go to uh, 
uh, our Washington Street mission here that is um, not just for the um, for the homeless, but also they allow low income families to come in and take whatever they need out of the pantry. You can take free, sh you can take showers there for free. Of course, there's food, there's, you know, whatever you may need. I think I'm going to go out and just give them that. They, you know, uh, I was at church and we were praying for them and I thought, well, you know, at, at, during prayer service at church this week, and I thought, well, maybe that's a sign that I should go make a donation there as well. Even though it may not be a large donation, I'm going to uh, still go out there and do that. So this is all I got for you guys. This is my little update. Um, you know, this Mandela is getting really big and I cannot wait to finish it. I've not finished the entire Mandela before. So like I said, my mom only got a, a half of Mandela. So yeah, and this blank, I am just so upset with myself over the my own minute, but I am going to fix it. I'm going to make it because I just didn't, I just don't want to pull everything out now and start frogging way out when I think I can fix it. So I'll show it to you next time, you guys. Thank you so much for coming and watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.